Hello, 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 hello. It's Monday morning, quarter past five, and we're just leaving the strand now. Still dark outside. And the next time you'll see me, I'll be standing on a gravel road on our way to the R. That is so exciting. I'm so happy to be back on gravel. It's really, really exciting. Want to welcome you and say that this is going to be an awesome trip again. It's so nice to be up in the Northern Cape again. And we're going to be covering quite a lot of ground this time. Um, if you have a look at our map, you'll see that we left Strand this morning. And um, then we're going to turn, we just turned off of the N1 here onto this gravel road just before we hit Richmond. And we're taking a nice gravel road through to the R and we're going to be spending the evening there. How exciting is this? Super. Can we just look at the clouds for a second? Yes, we can. <laughs> the clouds of the Karoo in the Northern Cape. So nice. Unbelievable. But it's always like this when one gets here. The beautiful sky. Fantastic. people in the road. No, it looks like a donkey car. It does? Yeah. Well, it must have people on it. <laughs> no, I thought they might be walking. Oh, there I see. Yeah. Donkeys or horses? Uh, horses? It looks more like horses, yes. Hi, can you go stop? Hi, Jelle. We gaan naar Jelle. Dat is mooi, dat is mooi. We have to take this route as well. Oh, we have to. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, how fantastic is this? Beautiful horses, eh? Yes. What a welcome <laughs> to, the, to the Karoo <laughs> to the and Karoo. to the Northern Cape. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love this place. So I'm sure those must be the, what do they call them? Kariki Mensa. Kariki Mensa. I'm convinced. Yeah. I'm convinced. Definitely. It's our first time that we've happened upon a, a horse cart like that. Yes. But I'm sure that's what um, people refer to as the Kariki Mensa.
You thought the fence was high for some reason, hey? Yeah, definitely. And electrified. So nice to see wildlife again. <laughs> it is fantastic. Great stuff. In the wild. This is where our gravel road ends for the day. But that was a nice stretch. Brilliant. No complaining. Nothing. You can see the cell phone signals live again. <laughs> It's exciting driving into a new town, eh? <laughs> Listen, look at the flat hills. Yes. Like, look, dead straight flat, eh? Yeah. are on the mountainside. Yes. M. Tanjeni Municipality welcomes you to Da'ar. Nice. The third biggest town in the Northern Cape. Ha <laughs> serious station. I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> Take a drive down Main Road. Let's do that. Wide again, hey? Very wide. But I think this time it's for the side tippers. <laughs> Not for the wagons. Not for the wagons. Uh, before the side tippers? There must have been wagons. There were wagons. Load shedding. Yeah, I know load shedding started at two o'clock. Oh, it did? Yes. Oh, okay. drive through the main road. Eh? Correct. It does go on and it's fairly busy. Yeah, oh, it is fairly busy. both 
very anxious to see the station. Definitely want to why see the station. Yeah. Why don't we find that? Okay, cool. I mean, it's not the second biggest junction in South Africa for no reason at all. Definitely. I, I, I want to get to the station. What did you read? 110 kilometers of railway lines and 29 sets of tracks? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is major. That's huge. No, that's big. Okay, so we were told we must go through the subway here and hang a right to get to the... What does he call it? Goedere Loots. Yeah, Goedere Loots. Yeah, good street. Here we go. He says before we exit the subway, oh, there's a yeah. turn to the right. This is pretty cool. Ah. This is for all the train lines going over. Love it. Yeah. This gives you an idea how big it is. <laughs> or was. says when he was a child a train came through every two or three hours yeah. now a train comes through every two days, two days yeah. but it, it just doesn't goes right stop through, yeah. uh, passenger trains stop but uh, he's not sure how often they come through oh this was major yeah totally overgrown eh Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and it's still even further down. So there's major quite a few. Yeah. So let's see if I can find the station based on the gentleman's directions. Yes. Yeah, this looks more like a station. Oh, for sure. Pretty much all closed looks in. abandoned. Look yeah. at that building. All the windows have been broken. I think it's just these yeah. administration buildings that are still operational. Wow. I'd like to get into the station, but it's all closed in. I can't get in. But, yeah. 
we thought we'd see a functional station. We've heard so much about the Daar station and there's nothing going on. All locked up. I really expected a, a functional station, eh? I'm feeling a little sad. Yes. I was very excited to come to the R. And the main reason was basically the station. Yeah. I wonder what building this is. It looks like some type of hotel or something. Or it used to be. Well, it used to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it. Oh, the, the R, R station. station. There you go. There it says, Friedlander Station Building, Train Crew Security Telecoms. Definitely still people working. Yeah, definitely. But I think that might be for the odd freight train. Yeah, that's the post office. Yes. Big post Big office. Post office. Yeah. Serving a certain section of the Northern Cape, eh? most probably. The R has a moving train. <laughs> Picking up speed, you say, yeah. now that it's empty. train I thought was a passenger train. Yes. Oh it's not. I wonder how many passenger trains there are. Yeah. Ah yes the town hall. Must have been a beautiful fountain in its day. Wow, man, this is hard. So, so we just spoke to a lady, and she says it still is the town hall, but they've used the municipal offices and stuff next to it there. But I can't get inside; it's closed at the moment. It has an obelisk, I just want to see what this is. Oh, for those who gave up their lives for the country. There's no date on you. In memory of those who lay down their lives for our country. Wow, there's like some anti-aircraft gun. Made by Sawyer Massey Limited, Hamilton, Canada. Wow, is it? Okay, Dutch Reformed Church, 1913. Wow. So it's 110 years old. Yeah. That cornerstone was laid on the 8th of September, 1923. Facebook. Maybe this church was built in 1923, but the congregation was established in 1930. Probably, Got no right? idea. Probably. Now the art is obviously named after the underground arteries, yes. supplying the town with um, water. A total of 68 boreholes what? supply the town with water. That's wild. Eh? Cool, eh? Yeah, that is incredible. So they, their water source is from underground for the whole town? Entirely. That's incredible. 
lots of the name makes sense. There yes. are, right? <laughs> Not named after someone. No. Straight? Yes, ma'am. You'll tell me where we're going when we arrive. I think I I think we're gonna arrive there pretty soon. Okay. I think so. Yep, this is it in front here. Um Okay. To me it looks like a sports facility. Swimming pool. Huh? Hello? It's the swimming a swimming pool. pool? Yep. The town swimming pool? Yes. Do you think it's still... Oh, the way it looks over here, I'm a bit worried now at this stage. Yeah. The R West swimming pool. The R West swimming pool? seems closed. It does. Now yeah they've turned it into a restaurant. Yeah it used to be a museum Yeah. or part of it is still is still a museum but this is where she spent some time writing. So she lived all over the show eh? Yeah so the entrance is in Hrunlung Street. Yeah not in Shriner. Beautiful garden here, hey? Yeah, oh, very pretty. I love the style house, eh? Look at that veranda yeah. wrapping around like a play area for kids. That tree must have been around when she was around. That's possible. Okay, I was hoping we could get inside. Same, yeah. Alright, we've seen that. drove past something here yeah, and you said we must come back to it. <laughs> yeah, look at that. R.A. Van Rensburg swimming pool. I wonder where the pool is. He must have been a prominent figure in town. Yeah. Can't just drive past have to go in and have a look. This must have been such a nice place. Oh, man. Look at this. What a mess.
This must have been the ticket office where you bought tickets through, yeah? Yeah, what can one say? There's a few raindrops starting to fall. So I think it's time for us to head to the Karua Fountain Guest House. Absolutely, I can't wait. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, we are. Look his manicured lawns. Whoa. Yeah. Nah. How cool is this? Oh, I love this. Stunning little shower. Econ. Perfect. And the dunny. So this is where we're coming to have our evening meal, Pringles Pub and Restaurant. Cool, this is wow. So, these are our drinks for the evening color tonic and lemonade for Sonia, and a little black label for me. Now, you must explain what you're eating. Um, double chicken schnitzel with cheese and mushroom sauce. That looks delicious, eh? I think it's <laughs> going to be. And I am having rump steak with baked beans and egg and chips and onion rings. Known as a cowboy steak. Cowboy steak. Yeah, in the eye. So, my tummy is full. That was a fantastic meal. Yeah, I had a wonderful meal. Friendly folks and great food. Stunning. Yeah, enjoyable experience. When it's dark, let's go home. Please, can we? <laughs> what an amazing first day we had. I missed the gravel roads so much. I'm so happy we're doing them again. And we are in the R now. We're going to spend the evening here. And it's time to say good night and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Woken up behind the R and I see it's a little overcast and nice and cool for this time of year. So I think we're going to have a wonderful day. And this is our cup of coffee to get us going for the day. So this is it. I had a good night's sleep. Ready for another day. Ready for another day. And only day two. <laughs> That's exciting, <laughs> eh? That's exciting. <laughs> the R Country Club. We're very early, so clearly <laughs> there will be nothing going on.
lot of trees, eh? Yeah, I can't make out what this is through this hedge. If it's a like a bowling green. So this is the Da'ar Country Club. So this is definitely the bowls green. Okay, so there is the, the T's and the fairways go down here. The bowling green looks stunning though, eh? Yeah. I can't believe how green it is. Yeah, now they've done well here. Yeah. Fantastic facility. Yeah, it is beautiful. For the town. The first golfer has arrived. It looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where he explained for us to come to Excelsior Park. I, I'm just going to go straight to this thing. Look at this. Fantastic. South African Railways. How beautiful. Absolutely amazing. And this is where they used to sit driving the train. This is a, a yeah. plaque for a memorial for the yeah. people who died in the First World War. This place is incredible. I'm going to take you for a walk through and just see the history of this. Used to be the original railway buildings. Apparently, this is where they used to have functions. They used to have dances and what we call sockies, and and this all used to belong to the railway. Still belongs to the railway, these people are just leasing it. There's a little kitchen in the back there, this is a serving bar. And then... This is where they used to have meetings in this boardroom. So nice that they've kept it original like this. Don't see this very often. This they turned into a ladies bar later. But what's interesting, I was told, that this bar counter is the original bar counter that comes from the station they moved it from the station to here before it got destroyed so oh, thank heavens they saved this
has this pub. Look at this. I still serve drinks here. Yeah? So people can come visit the R, come to this club and have a few drinks here. Yeah? This is so cool. Excelsior Park. What history this place has got. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm blown away. And how incredible to meet the yeah. treasurer of the R. Yes, the ex-treasurer. I mean, the ex-treasurer. Yeah. But this place is beautiful. If people come to visit the R, they must come to Excelsior Park. It's really worth it just to come and have a drink here. Yeah, no meals are being served. At the moment, yeah. But so. uh, definitely come have a drink. If we knew, we would have. Definitely come to support them. We're making our way out of the R now. Yes, we are. I really would have loved to see the ammunition depot, but they say that visitors, tourists aren't allowed. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen yeah, that as well. Yeah, it would have been nice. The R is uh, actually so much more than uh, meets the eye, eh? Yeah, it turned out to be a really great visit. It did.